treasure hunters and blue sky people and scanner monkeys who are visiting and um, I think there's some seller helping seller people who are visiting and just all sorts of cool people here today. Um, yeah, I didn't know I was gonna whether I was gonna have a show today or not. I'm glad I made it. Um, although I think you guys were doing really well without me. There was um, I kind of logged in and there was a pre-show going on um, and some really great people. I saw Bob, I saw Cordelia, Brian, uh, Larry, loads of people having an awesome chat there. Um, yeah, I'm a little out, out of breath. I was trying to uh, power nap because. I think what happened today, I, Isaac had um, like a family reunion and a birthday and we had to go up to Orange County. So we went up to, um, there's a place in Orange County called The Mining Company and it's like a crazy restaurant on the top of a hill um, which has a great view actually, it was really fun. Oh and Maureen was there as well and Brenda. Um, Lots of people were chatting. Wow, that's awesome. So we had a um, family reunion and I had a mimosa, which was nice, but then I went to sleep on the way back from Orange County. Because um, it's, it's been quite a long week. It's, it's, it's been a good week, but I, I feel like I've worked really hard this week. Um, I got about seven little boxes out to FBA yesterday UPS came and took those yesterday um, and those were mostly books which was good um, I've had so many books just piling up from yard sales from treasure hunting um, so it was really super nice to get those out super exciting um, and you know Jeff did you just come and steal all my books that, that actually that's a great scheme you just like show up and you're like hi I'm UPS I'll take all your Amazon I think that might be illegal. I, I think perhaps that's that's not the best plan ever. Um, <laughs> evil Jeff Davidson, stealer of books. Um, but I had some good books in there. I found one pre-calculus book that was uh, $120, I think. Um, and there were a few others that made me go, "What? why haven't I sent all this stuff off? Wait, I've got one actually. Let me show you another thing I found that didn't get in the box. Hold on, guys, I'm coming right back. I'm coming right back. Oh, no. Um, oh, I can't find it. No. I'm coming back. Gosh, I'm all in chaos today. Oh, I can't find what I wanted to share with you. I had some, um... Japanese rubber stamps and they're like a tiny little box um, of rubber stamps and I found out those are selling for like $60 so I didn't get those in this FBA shipment but I'm gonna get them in the next one um, gosh I'm just running around all over the place I'm so unhealthy and yeah and this this is another thing I found a while back and for some reason I scanned this and this didn't go into the shipment but how awesome is this this is a uh, mad magazine box set and I picked that up a while back from a yard sale for about three four dollars um, and that's selling for like a hundred I think it's a hundred maybe eighty um, but that's another thing I need to scan and get sent off so it's kind of cool if you let the books just pile up suddenly you go whoa I've got all this stuff here I've got a lot of stuff that I didn't realize I had so this week has really been um, kind of a clearing up week, just finding the stuff I've got lying around the house, getting it out. Um, we may have to move house in two months. So my landlord wants to sell the house. We're looking at maybe buying the house or finding another house. Um, but we might have to move in a couple of months, which sucks because I have so much stuff. So clearing out stuff is kind of a priority at the moment. Um, just catching my breath. The other thing I did this week, um, and Cordelia knows about this. We were talking about this. Um, Cordelia, hopefully I'm not moving. Hopefully we're not moving. Um, we don't want to move, but the landlord says they want to sell. So we want to stay where we are because the kids like the school here and everything's good here. Um, but we're looking at maybe buying the house we're in or finding somewhere nearby 
So hopefully not moving too far. But I have too much stuff. I, I don't want to move because it will be a nightmare. I still have a pod full of stuff as well. So more yard sales perhaps on the cards. But um, so Leanne this week, Leanne Hicks, she posted in the group about swap.com. And we all got super, super excited about this. And I know I've been talking to Cordelia about this. Um, and she shared it in Scanner Monkey, and everyone was excited about it there too. Um, I've been trying to get someone from swap.com to talk to me, but the guy is super elusive. Um, so swap.com is interesting. Um, you can basically, I filled up two huge moving boxes with stuff. Um, and they mostly take children's things, so toys, books, children's books, um, toys, children's books, and clothes. They take women's clothes, and I think they'll take books about pregnancy and baby things. Um, and that's kind of their demographic, is sort of women and children. Um, so Leanne shared this in the group. And the reason we all got super excited is that Swap.com will take your stuff and take pictures and get it all like prepped and nice for you um, and then send it to people. So it's kind of like FBA meets eBay, um, but with photos taken for you. So I don't know. I think um, part of me says this is too good to be true, that swap.com actually take. Let me see if I can share it. Hold on a moment. Let me bring up swap.com so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, and I'll screen share that with you briefly. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, let's go to screen share. Gosh, I'm kind of hot and sweaty. It's kind of hot in here. Um, I need to do something. See, I would fix the air conditioning in this house, but we might have to move. So, um, yeah, that's... <laughs> Cordelia, you cracked me up. <laughs> um, okay, so swap.com. Can you all see that on my screen? Um, this is pretty neat. So you have books. Um, and these are what people have listed. And it looks like swap.com will grade them for you. And, and um, like this one here, they've said it's in fair condition. Um, and they'll take pictures. Like, how awesome is this? They'll also bundle things for you. They'll put them together. So I think that their thing is that everything has to be worth at least $5 or, or something like that. Is it $3, $5? I guess, I guess $3 is there's some $4 items here. Um, but they do take uh, a bit, they do take a big cut. I think it's like a dollar fifty plus twenty five percent. I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head, but it's kind of cool because they take the pictures for you um, and post it for you. So I like this concept. The only thing that worries me slightly, someone shared reviews from uh, people using swap.com and the buyers all said it was awesome. They all said, yes, five stars. It's a great system. It works really well. I've got good, cheap stuff from there. Um, a lot of sellers said not so much. There was a lot of things they wouldn't take. Um, and some people said they sent in boxes and swap.com refused a lot of the products and said they weren't acceptable or they weren't in good enough condition. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know. Leanne in the group says it's awesome. They take most of her things. Um, and she showed us her figures and she's made quite a lot of money selling things through swap.com. But if you look at the reviews, some of the reviewers are, are saying, be careful. They, there's a lot of things they won't accept, which is, um, it, it, may be the bar, it may be the sellers. Like I can imagine if people are sending things in and they haven't checked out the rules thoroughly or they're sending in things that are damaged or that are in categories that swap.com won't accept, um, I can see that it could be like a seller issue. Or it could be a swap.com issue. So I guess we wait and see. Um, I've sent in two big, big 20-inch boxes. Um, and, you know, I don't really mind. If they reject them, that's fine. It's, it means they are out of my house. That's two more boxes of stuff that is not in my house. Um, but they say you get an average of $150 for every box that's sent in. Whoa, did someone just draw on my screen? That's so cool. How did that happen? Someone just drew on my screen. Whoa, so epic. Like, I, I feel like I've just been hacked. 
Um, but yeah, so that is swap.com. How do I stop share? Well, if I stop share, will that scary red line go away? Yes, it did. Okay, who did the red line? That was crazy. I, I didn't know that was a thing on Zoom. I feel like I learn a little bit more about Zoom every time we do it. So, who have we got here? I see a lot of people here. Now, Isaac's asleep. He crashed out. He did the mimosas at lunchtime, and he is crashed out asleep. Um, actually, he'd been asleep for a while, and then he, he sat up and he went, oh, I think I might go to sleep now. I'm like, you've been asleep for like the last half hour. What? No, no. Oh, Julie's granddaughter did that. Awesome. I, I don't even know how you do that, but that's great. Um, so who have we got here? Let's say hi to everyone. We have Brian, Larry. We have PR Amazing, lol. Is that Pat? I bet that's Pat. That sounds like Pat. Hi, Pat. Um, we have Ernest and Maureen, Cordelia, Bob Willie. We love Bob. Julie, Paul, April, Erin. Jeff, Paula's here, Anne, Lolly, Brenda, Katie Mack. Sandy's here. Hi, Sandy and Darcy, Diane, Guarav. Oh, Isaac is here. Isaac, I was just complaining about you being asleep a lot, um, but I guess you're here. Um, he's, he's in the other room, so we're, we're not that weird. That he's not, like, sitting next to me. Um, Joni's here. Alex, Kevin, Kaylin, Laura, Helene, and Tammy. So many awesome people here. So I have quite a lot of things to talk about and talked about uh, swap.com. Um, I want to talk, what have I got on my list? Um, I do want to talk about back to school. I've got a couple of interesting, hopefully interesting things to talk about back to school. Um, um, Pat wants me to talk about ASD. I will talk about ASD. Um, I want to talk, oh, I, I did a video about polyvore yesterday. Um, if you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, you should subscribe to me on YouTube because um, I did a, a walkthrough, kind of a walkthrough, on polyvore yesterday. So what actually happened, I, I woke up and I was looking at ASD's blog and they had, they had a post about polyvore. And I was like, I, I, it rings a bell, but I don't remember what polyvore does. So I went and checked it out and I was like, whoa, this is a really cool website. Um, here yeah, I can do a screen share on this as well as we're doing. I love Zoom for the screen shares. I saw um, Andy Slammons is moving to Zoom or he's doing his Zoom tomorrow um, and I loved what he did. He did a spreecast and the title of the spreecast was Here's My Zoom. Um, so <laughs> I'm a bit scared to do that um, but the, that, that seemed like um, a very smart idea. I was very impressed with Andy for doing that because um, I think a lot of us have, have come away from spreecast and are enjoying Zoom. Um, so let's have a quick look at Polyvore because I think it's pretty awesome. Um, so here's the screen for Polyvore. Um, and what's cool about it, it's a bit like Pinterest, um, but I, to me, it looks a little bit higher quality than Pinterest. Um, and I don't know if that's like um, a terrible thing to say that, but th there are a few things that I really like about Polyvore. So all the collections, kind of look like magazine articles, um, but they're sort of fake magazine articles because a lot of them, like this, this text here, it, it's not really any interesting text. It's just there to make it look nice, to make it look like uh, a magazine article. But what's cool is you can put all the products that you're really interested in at the moment into a collection. And this is great if you are a seller because you can make collections featuring or showcasing your own products. And if you're selling private label products or bundles or something unique, this is very, very powerful that you can create a collage with your own product in and share it. And what's amazing is that you have all the share buttons right here. You can pin it, you can post to Facebook, to Tumblr, to Twitter. Um, it's, the demographic at the moment is women under 34. So it does have a young female demographic and it's kind of grown out the fashion, um, like the fashionista movement. So um, a lot of the, uh, wait, I'm, I'm trying to read this hat. Oh, what trend? I don't know which, well, wow, people are drawing on my screen again. I don't know how people are drawing on my screen. It's so cool. Um, 
<laughs> oh, wait, Cordelia, you started the Zoom trend. I was reading the chat. I got distracted. I shouldn't look at the chat. Um, so, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of things. Well, thank you, Cordelia. I like Zoom a lot. Zoom is a really cool platform for this. Um, so looking at uh, a polyvore, it's cool because you can share um, your collages, your collections outside of polyvore. So you can share them on Pinterest, um, on Facebook, on Tumblr. But also you can create your own uh, groups within polyvore. And what's crazy is there are people who have, um, if I go to following, um, there are people who are having, <laughs> everyone's making little tags all over the screen, this is great. The people are creating their own groups, um, which is really interesting. They have contests. Um, so you can actually enter people's contests on um, Polyvore. So you can kind of show your products to a whole new group of people. And people who use Polyvore are spending more than people on any other social platform. So they spend $66 per order, per average order on, on Polyvore, um, which is more than they spend on an order from Pinterest. So people really go here to shop. It's really good for home decor, fashion, accessories, um, but not, uh, it, it, it's kind of okay for um, toys and games, but it, it's not intended for those things. But the great thing is you can clip things from anywhere. So you get this little plugin at the top um, and you can go to amazon.com and you can click on any product um, and you can clip it into your polyvore. So that's pretty much how it works, that you click it from there um, and you put it into your polyvore with the price. Um, it shows up in your polyvore and you can create collages and collections with it. So it's not as big as Pinterest yet. It, I, I don't think it's, it's as big as Pinterest yet, but it's getting there. Um, Pinterest has an older demographic possibly more shoppers, um, more moms, um, and a more diverse range of products being shared. But I think Polyvore is definitely, definitely one to watch. And another really cool thing that I like um, about Polyvore, um, I have to move this down so I can click it. I think it's really good for getting inspiration. Um, like I just found out that Galaxy dresses are a thing. Um, that if you have a dress and it's got like planets and stars all over it, that is like a current trend. Um, and it, also you look at this and it's like, oh, Glastonbury and barbecues and boho. Like it kind of gives you trends and keywords and niches, which we know is everything you need when you're putting a product on Amazon or on Facebook. Especially if you're doing private label, you want your niches and your trends and your keywords. This gives you a lot of inspiration. So I, I kind of like Polyvore. I think it's definitely something to watch. Um, I'm not really a Pinterest person. Like, I, I'm not very good at... I, I'm not a person who makes, like, dream boards and vision boards and scrapbooks and because I get bored. I have the attention span of a gerbil. Um, so I'm, I'm not really one who makes, like, Pinterest for fun um, or Polyvores for fun, but I think it's pretty cool as a marketing tool. And here's something else I've been thinking about a lot for Pinterest. This is a great job. If you're getting into VAs and working with VAs, Pinterest and Polyvore are like great jobs you could give to a VA. Like go and find me, um, make me up collages about this theme with this product. Um, and hiring a VA is super easy. I've been working with some VAs from... Um, What's it called now? It used to be Odesk, now it's Upwork. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's kind of fun when you start working with VAs and, and finding cool jobs that they can work on that kind of free up your time a bit. So I think that Pinterest and Polyvore and social media like, and things like that are a very, um, something that VAs are being very underused for, if that's a word. Okay, where, where are we at? Let me look at my... Um, notes for what I'm talking about today because I didn't go treasure hunting today so I don't have all the cool things to wave around and get excited about um I'm reading April oh April keeps everything on Pinterest 
So when she wants to eat at a new place or has a restaurant to try. Um, you know, it's funny. So my, my, one of my kids had a friend at school and I, I found her mom. On, I wasn't stalking. I kind of accidentally found her mom on Pinterest. Um, and she just had like boards. She had all these wedding boards. Um, and it was like my ideal um, dress, my ideal cake. Um, and then she had another board, which was my ideal man. <laughs> and she had like pinned all the men she had a crush on, <laughs> like all the celebrities. Um, yeah. So <laughs> she used her real name though. So it's not like I didn't go stalking. Like I, I, I feel if you're going to have your fancy wedding and your fancy men, um, that might be a good time to use a pseudonym or, or something like that. Um, but that's my funny Pinterest story. Um, I know Isaac set up a Pinterest and his Pinterest was just like where places to hide a body people to buy drugs from um and so i i wasn't i i banned him from pinterest isaac should not be allowed to use pinterest otherwise we may have a visit from the authorities um okay so that was swap.com that was uh polyvore um gosh i'm very hot um oh i talked about shipping books so um Oh, I was going to talk about titles. Um, so Amazon um, sent out an email. I didn't get it, actually. But Amazon sent out an email um, talking about titles. And they said they are limiting um, titles to 200 characters. Ooh. Um, you know, actually, I was like, yay, I think this is a good idea. Um, <laughs> Because I see a lot of people who are creating their listings and they're like, um, garlic press, best ever, fast, guaranteed, shipping now, 100%, US, like it just goes on forever. Um, and people are like stuffing their titles. Um, so I am not a big fan of keyword stuff titles. I think they're very unnecessary. Um, and I think they make everything a big, huge mess. I may, I may just be like an Amazon purist snob, but I say yay to the 200 character titles. Now, Joni asked a good question, and I know a lot of bundlers have been panicking and upset about the 200 character title. Um, and I do understand why. If you're making bundles of like four or five products, um, it can seem a little bit daunting if you have to fit it into 200 words. What I would say, um, I tend to do my titles like this. So I'll come up with the name of a bundle. Um, so I don't know, um, I, I guess like Mother's Day pampering bundle, perhaps, um, or bath bundle. And then I'll say three items includes donut, bath fizz, um, cupcake, flavor, bath oil, and soap. Um, and here, here's what I would say. That, that's the format I use. I would, first of all, say don't repeat any keywords. So don't say Mother's Day bath bundle. Just say Mother's Day bundle and then use bath fizz in the second part of it. Don't repeat any keywords. You don't need to repeat keywords unless it makes it super clear. You don't need to repeat keywords in the title. Um, yes, exactly. Pat's kind of nailed it. That, that's kind of what I'm saying. You give it the name of the bundle. You say how many items are in it. Then you list your items. So the first thing I say, don't repeat any keywords. Just use every keyword once. Um, keep it super simple. You don't need to go into great detail about these. Donut bath fizzes. Great. That's maybe like five, six, ten. That's like 15 characters to describe these. Um, you don't need a lot of characters. So if you have like four items like this, this 15 characters, um, that's like 60 characters, maybe a little bit more, plus a description of the bundle, plus the amount of items. You can really, really do a bundle in less than 200 characters. Um, We've had a few questions this week about whether you should put weight or size of products. Um, that's a good question. Um, I would only put the weight of a product if, um, if, if it's something someone's likely to search for. So, for example, I don't know, a bottle of water, someone might search for 
one liter. That's kind of searchable, but if you're looking to buy a liter bottle of water, you might type liter water. Um, and certainly for things like, I, I think about like philosophy bath gel, it tends to come in like an eight ounce size and a 16 ounce size. So people will search eight ounce or 16 ounce. Um, so I, I, in those cases, I would use the weight. I would say eight ounce philosophy bath oil. But I think for groceries, you don't need to include the weight for most products. If it's a standard size bag of jelly beans and the size or weight is taking up a lot of space, just put it in the bullet points. So yeah, Helen's got it right. You, you can just put info in the bullet points. So keep the, ti keep the titles very clean, very simple. Um, use searchable words. Don't repeat keywords. Don't use any kind of extraneous words like the super duper, totally awesome. You, you don't need all of those things. It's Helene. Helene, I'm so sorry. I keep, I keep messing up your name, Helene. Um, I, I, yeah, I've got my like pseudo GCSE French going on and it's not working out for me. Um, I'm sorry, Helene. Um, so uh, use sizes, weights, when people are likely to search for it. If they're not likely to search for it, then just put it in the bullet points. You can keep it nice and clean and tidy. Just keep the, keep the title tidy, keep it searchable, um, and like, just don't spam. And I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, also, you don't need to repeat things. Like if you have cupcake mix, and let's say you're including chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry cupcake mix, you don't have to say one box Pillsbury chocolate cupcake mix, one box Pillsbury vanilla you can say three boxes, cupcake mix, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Um, so another way of just keeping it clean, simple, um, and not using up too much character space. So I think we'll survive bundlers. I'm with you. Um, if you need help with your keywords, with your titles, let me know. I'm always happy to help and um, help clean up a bundle listing or troubleshoot or anything like that. So you're not alone. It's not scary. We will get through this, bundlers. Cool. Let me drink some water before I dehydrate and die. Um, it's really hot here today. It's like, I don't know, very hot. Mm. You know, it's, it's too hot when I'm not drinking coffee. Um, okay, what else were, were we going to talk about? Oh, I'm going to get to back to school in a minute. Um, and I've got some cool stuff for back to school, I think. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but I think I need to talk about ASD. Ah! So I had a um, big announcement this week. Ah! Um, yeah, I, I got into a conversation with ASD. Um, they really liked the videos we did back in March. Um, so Isaac and I were kind of walking around ASD and just looking and apparently Pat was hiding behind me like a crazy stalker lady Pat What's that about? Um, she said she she had like a cameo appearance in one of my videos So we're all trying to spot Pat, but there's a lot of people hiding. So I, I don't know which one was Pat um, <laughs> Photo bomb by Pat um, So we made videos at ASD in March just sort of walking around and talking to people and seeing what was going on there um, and ASD really liked it. They were kind of retweeting it and um, they, they, they liked the whole thing. So I got talking to them and they went, yeah, we actually, we want to host you. Whoa. Um, okay. That sounds cool. Um, and they, they gave me a gig basically doing their, um, I'm going to be doing some guest blogging for them, which is fun. I like writing stuff. So that's going to be cool. And they have an awesome blog. Um, it's called the ASD Insider. Um, and there's some good info on that. That's where I found out about Polyvore. Um, and they've got some other stuff going on on there. I think I'm going to be writing some things about bundles for them. Um, maybe some private label stuff. I don't know. It's all very exciting. Um, they want to kind of meet up with us. They've given us meeting space. So treasure hunters, blue sky people. We are going to do... Um, a lot of things at ASD, actually. Isaac and I are working on a schedule at the moment. Mm. So the plan is we're going to have um, at least a couple of meetups. I'm thinking we'll have like a nice morning meetup 
but um, when people are getting to the show and we can sort of meet up and talk there um, and get our plans of action going for the day, um, the meetups will be free. So I think we'll have at least two free meetups is my plan. Um, I will, it will probably also look at doing maybe like drinks one evening or a dinner or a meal or something like that. Um, but that might be a bit different. This, this is things that are happening at the show. So they've given us meeting space for three days of the show, um, which is really cool, like really exciting. Like we get our own room, guys, in the middle of the show. Um, and we're going to have some classes as well. Um, so the, Isaac and I are both looking at running some classes, and those are probably going to be paid. Um, so I'll, I will probably do one on Amazon. Um, exactly, Cordelia. Um, <laughs> um, one on Amazon, um, one on uh, Pinterest. I think I'm probably going to do one on Pinterest or social media. Um, and Isaac is probably going to do one on Shopify and getting a Shopify uh, website up and running. And I think his plan is to get people to bring their laptops and come in without a website and leave with a website. So we'll, we'll see how that works. Um, we're still planning out the details. So we're gonna have free meetups, paid classes, and I will put schedules out very, very soon. Um, Isaac and I have also got some kind of announcements coming really soon, really soon. We're not quite ready to talk about them yet, um, but we are hoping to have some launches. I think I can say that. I think I'm allowed to say launches, that we will have some launches, not lunches, launches, um, at ASD. Um, so he needs to work all night, every night, for like the next two months. Um, but we should have some big things coming at ASD. So it should be worth coming to the meetups um, to find out what we're doing. Um, big things, especially if you're a Blue Sky member. It's going to get exciting, I hope, I think. I love you guys. You're awesome. Um, but yes, that's, that's what we're doing. Uh, okay, I'm reading the uh, chat. Um, Helene says, good info, the Westgate is only $39 a night if you book through the ASD side. That is awesome news because uh, the Westgate connects to the Las Vegas Convention Center. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, you can also stay, the monorail is right outside ASD. So if you stay in a hotel on the monorail, that can also be kind of a good option. Um, we stayed at, gosh, where did we stay? We stayed at the Wynn in March, which was nice and swanky. Um, I, I was kind of disappointed, actually. I thought it was going to be super awesome, but it was, it was nice. It wasn't super awesome, but it was nice. Um, but gosh, that was a lot of walking. Don't, don't do that. Um, but yeah, the, you, Westgate, Harrah's, I think Bally's might be on the monorail as well. I've heard good things about TI. Um, Another option I've heard, um, people are doing Airbnb. So that might be another um, option to look into. Um, maybe doing Airbnb in Vegas. Although I don't know, like Vegas is crazy town. So who knows what you might get. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Westgate did do some remodeling. Um, I, but I don't know how recently that was. So ASD, for those of you who haven't been before, who are going, what's ASD? What is this about? Um, you know, ASD doesn't really stand for anything. I think it used to be like associated surplus dealers or something like that. And now they try and make it like amazing. I don't know what it is, but it, it, it doesn't really stand for anything. Um, it's a big trade show. Um, big, big, big trade show. It says nine shows in, in one. Um, and it's, it's kind of interesting because it's divided into lots of areas. So there's one area that's all about sourcing from China, from India, from overseas. Um, and that's pretty cool. You can go and talk to people um, who are manufacturing. It's great if you're doing private label. You can talk to them about what you want to do. Um, Isaac spent hours talking about hydroponics and aquaponics there last time, um, <laughs> which uh, he, he was happy. Um, but there's pretty much everything you can imagine. Like whatever it is you're interested in selling, 
there will be space for it at ASD. There's a huge jewelry cash and carry area. There's groceries, there's clothes, um, all kinds of things. I love the general store. I love the um, dollar store kind of area. There were a lot of products that were seasonal that I thought were really fun, um, kind of dollar store products. Great for bundles, great stuff for bundles. Um, there was uh, a few uh, um, like booths that had all gift things, gift basket things. Um, like <laughs> I, I, I just, I look up and all I see is boobs. Um, I, I, you could maybe, I, I don't know, why, 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 did, why wh where are the boobs? There, there are boobs apparently at ASD. Boobs, boobs, I said. I didn't say boobs, I said it's the accent. I did. It's the accent. It's it's it. Uh, yeah, you you speak British now, Cordelia. I <laughs> I'm still laughing. I'm scared of monkey. Oh my gosh, Cordelia called everyone a wanker, and I laughed. I I didn't stop laughing for about a day. I I messaged her. And I'm like Cordelia. You just like said, don't be a wanker. Um, and I can say this because there's no Brits here. I don't think except like maybe Art. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but I laughed for about a day after I read that. Um, <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> it's offensive. I'm British now. Cool. I, I, I offended everyone. Um, yes. So <laughs> what was I talking about? ASD. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, ASD is really fun. Um, like, I, I think you can just walk around. If you're new to it, I, th I know there's a lot of s fear. There's a lot of people who are saying, oh, you've got to be prepared for a trade show. It's terribly scary. It's terribly, like, you've got to have all your shizzle together and know what you're doing. Um, you can just go up to people and talk to them and just say, hi, I'd like to sell your stuff. Can you tell me what I need to do? I have no idea what's going on. Um, and 99% of the people are really, really nice and they want to sell to you. So they're going to go, sure, okay, fill out this. Um, this is what you need to do if you want to place an order. Um, and it's super easy. My experience was there are a few people who don't like selling to Amazon sellers. But that's fine because there are other people who love Amazon sellers. And there are even more who don't care. Um, so my recommendation, be honest. Talk to people. Don't be afraid of talking to people. If you can talk to people in the supermarket, if you can talk to people at estate sales or yard sales, you can talk to people at ASD. You don't need to spend a huge amount of money on a course to tell you how to talk to people. Um, if you can talk to people, you can talk to people. Um, so go there, talk to people, negotiate with people. Don't be a wanker. Um, and you can have a, a very nice time at ASD. Do have uh, business cards. You need business cards. Um, people will take you a bit more seriously if you can say, here's my card. Um, most booth vendors do ask for them. Be honest with people. Tell them. If you want to sell on Amazon, tell them. Um, it might help to have your own website. Um, you can set something up so simply. You can like set up a web. Uh, if you go on YouTube, Isaac, um, or join Isaac's group, Viewmasters, he has a whole walkthrough on how to set up a website. Really easy. Weebly is an option Cordelia is putting up. Um, very easy to put up a website on Weebly. Very easy uh, to put up a Shopify site on GoDaddy. Um, not difficult. So... It can help if you say, look, I have got my own website. Um, and you can put that on your business card as well. So get prepared now. Like, it, it's not scary. It's not difficult. But do think about getting prepared. A business card and a website help. You don't need them, but they do help. Um, so that's cool. Um, and come and see me. I will publish meetups. I will publish classes. If you are interested in... Um, any particular classes or any particular kind of meetups, send me a message because I would love feedback. I'd love to know what you guys are really interested in um, because I want to give the people what they want because um, you guys are awesome. Um, cool. So I, th I think I've kind of covered everything. Um, I'm really hot. I'm like dying here. I think I need to get like fans and air conditioning before I do this next week. Um, 
So yes, uh, look at setting up a cheap website. That's, that's a good idea. Not necessary, but a good idea. Okay, I think I'm just going to throw this open. Shall I unmute? Does anyone want to come in and sort of chat and hang out and do like an after party? Um, I do. Oh, you're there. I that. that was like magic, Cordelia. Because you didn't set any of the settings so that I can't do it. Oh, well, so you've all got power. You can just like... You we start. all can come on. That's awesome. So how are you doing, Cordelia? I, I enjoyed your, um, your class last week with Anna on accounting. Oh, thank you. You know what? I think that somebody's got their mic on. Okay. Um, Somebody might be, to be muted. I think I did it. Oh, thank you. Can you unmute everyone? Okay. Uh, mute. Hold on. I'll mute all and then I'll unmute Cordelia. There you go. We're good. Can you hear me? Yeah. We've still got it. I don't think you did it. I didn't. Mm. Okay, I'm looking through. I'm looking to see. If under I participants. Um, I didn't mute all. You should mute. I don't know. But you know, there's someone I can't mute them. How weird is that? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Larry's back on. Larry, we should bring Larry on. I want to say. He was good, and there's Brian again. Okay, we've on. It's our pre-show crew. <laughs> okay, so what were you guys talking about in the pre-show? Just chatting up what we're up to. That's so cool. We can't say now. Oh, yeah. it's all secret now. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if we do an after show hangout. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. that you, there was like a pre show and an after show hangout, and we could do it all with Zoom. That's so cool. I love Zoom. I wish I got an affiliate link. Yeah, you should have done that because you brought so they many. They don't have it. I was willing, but because I spent hours looking for Zoom. Like, I, I did so much research to find Zoom. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so it was all you. We didn't, I didn't know it was all you, Cordelia. Because now everyone's on it, like Dwayne and Andy and every, all, the, all the big guys are on Zoom. Mm -hmm. One of my clients for my business, who's got like a multi million dollar company, he was like, I did a Zoom with him, and he's like, I canceled Go to Meeting. I canceled everything. I'm on Zoom now. And I'm it, like, I know, you know, it's great. And also for doing, um, like I did the polyball video yesterday. That was yeah. so cool doing that with Zoom, doing a screen share. Wait, let me just stop the recording. I'll just say bye-bye on this oh, so I can put bye. it on YouTube. So bye, thank you, you YouTube people. Come and join uh, Treasure Hunting. Come and join Blue Sky, my new Facebook. It's awesome. Okay, talk to you soon, YouTube people.